I'm Carl Sameli. I'm a Swedish citizen, but I moved to Cape Town in 2012 and I'm the co-founder of Bitprop. My name is Prince. I'm an entrepreneur and I'm the Emerging Markets Advisor at Bitprop. The problem that Bitprop addresses is that we have, it's a lack of good housing and good infrastructure in the informal settlements. And what we are doing is that we have found the commercial model of building high quality backyard rental property. And that increases the living standard for both the tenants that rent this property and also creates entrepreneurs of the ladies that owns the property and runs the properties. When you walk into one of our units, firstly you're greeted by the spirit of Britprop. And you're greeted by a very welcoming, well-designed, architectural, beautiful environment. We add really great amenities like Wi-Fi as well in this specific instance to enable individuals to connect to the internet. Outside this building we've got a Wi-Fi pole that actually enables the community to tether in as well. So it's also part of the whole angle of creating the social ripple effect in the context of how we develop our buildings. What we saw specifically in the story of Molweni Coffee was an individual called Monde who we had a relationship with. We saw that he had a great work spirit, he worked hard, he was an amazing coffee, a barista. And the great thing about it was that we saw an opportunity to actually empower him to start up his own coffee shop right in the middle of Cape Town. Mostly when you start a business, you don't think of it from the legal angle. You think on the value creation that you want to do. When you look at it a bit closer, you realize it's a legal need in every angle of the business. Like We need legal contracts, help the landlord to create legal contracts with the tenants. And we are, because we are the platform that tie all these stakeholders together, we, if we can provide them with good legal frameworks, we make the operation of the model much more successful. My top three tips for entrepreneurs would primarily be first start. We tend to think that um, capital or relationships might be a barrier to entry, but the earlier you start, the better. Um, then the second thing is that entrepreneurship is not a joke, so it's going to require a lot of persistence. And it's a critical thing to keep in mind when the going gets tough, even when the chips are down, you've got to be persistent and you've got to have significant amount of passion to keep you going. The third component that I'll add to it is ultimately you've got to ask yourself in the context of what you're bringing to the market, is there a real need for it and are you going to be able to build a long-term sustainable advantage? So those are my three um, pieces of wisdom in this particular <laughs> instance. Right now Bitprop has built 32 units in Kailicha right outside Cape Town. And this coming two years we will build hundreds of units in Kailicha and we will stay in Kailicha for a while. But the long term goal is of course to build thousands and thousands of these units, not only in South Africa, but all over the world. If we take away the financial component, I think the tacit element of the, the dignity, the social change that comes in, how our homeowners begin to see themselves equally as entrepreneurs, how our tenants get a better experience and the ripple effect that has on the communities is really the real change that's actually being driven by Bitpop. <laughs>